Thanks for tuning in and checking out what's new in our 0.3.0 build of Oni. First thing to notice here is we have a sidebar in File Explorer. This is starting to showcase how Oni is different from Terminal Vim. We have these nice icons, various highlights all over the place, accents, even animations. Uh, we're starting to deliver on our mission of breaking free of terminal limitations. The cool thing though is they work just like you'd expect in Vim. Navigation through these panes works like it does today in window splits. So I can press Ctrl WH to shift over to the Explorer, use my J and K keys to navigate. I can press Ctrl WH again and go over to the sidebar and then come back with Ctrl WL. Note that as I navigate through, there's a highlight at the top that kind of follows me so I can keep tabs with where I am. Then when we're in the File Explorer, I can use G to go to the bottom, GG to go to the top. I can uh, use a number in J and get relative motion. I can uh, expand and collapse folders, um, even open files. So there's a lot of cool stuff here, uh, but really it's a starting point for us. There's still lots of functionality we could use on top of this. Things like drag and drop, multi-select, um, search would be a big one. These are things I'm hoping the contributors can help um, help me build this out. So moving on from there, there's some other small ergonomic improvements. If you open our fuzzy finder, which is control P on Windows, meta P on Mac, you'll see we finally have a scroll bar on the side. This might not seem like a big thing, especially if you're coming from the Vim world, but there's something nice about having that feedback over on the right, just to let you know, like, are there a lot of options left? Should I refine my filter even more? Uh, just having that visual indication is really nice. And then having the mouse behavior like you expect, it's kind of a small thing, but uh, it's nice to finally have that. Now, if we flip over to our command palette, which is meta shift P on Mac or control shift P on Windows, one thing that's new in only today is these shortcut hints over on the right side. This is really nice for discovering new functionality. So like here in this build, since we have a sidebar, it's important to be able to toggle that. So I can look and explore and discover these shortcut keys, become really proficient at using my editor. So that brings me to another new piece of functionality, this sneak mode. Now this mode was inspired by the Vim sneak plugin, as well as Vimium, CVim, uh, those browser plugins for quickly navigating across the UI. So if I jump out of here, press Control G, I can pull up this kind of list of tags that I can uh, just type, and it takes me really quickly over to that piece of UI. So it's nice for navigating the file explorer because I can just you know, bring up these tags and select a file or expand a folder. I can have a new tab, Control G, and uh, jump over to that file. So there's some nice things there. But we're really not taking full advantage of it today. It's really going to shine once we have some more interesting kind of non-editor experiences. One place where this will be really useful is our embedded browser scenario, which is coming soon. So another cool feature that came in that Akin worked on is the externalized command line in Wild Menu. This takes advantage of some of NeoVim's capabilities to externalize functionality. In Vim, we use the colon key a lot to go to X mode. In Oni, we actually see it's kind of in the middle, like you'd expect with like um, Atom or VS Code or Sublime, as opposed to the bottom here where you'd normally see it in Terminal Vim. The wild menu works like you'd expect. Do something more interesting here. Here we go. So. It's pretty cool that we have that externalization. It works the same way for search, looking backwards. All that just works and it has uh, key parity with what you'd get from the standard Vim command line. So next feature I wanna show you uh, is another cool thing that came in in 0.3.0. It's the search functionality. Now we were already leveraging ripgrep for our quick open experience, which is this file finder. Uh, but ripgrep is awesome, it's super fast. You can search really quickly with it. So it makes sense for us to leverage that since we're already 
bundling with Oni anyway. And you can get to that by MetaShiftF on Mac or Control-Shift-F on Windows. That brings you right to this query window. And I can start typing. And I'll actually start searching as I type and refining my search. And RipGrep is really fast behind the scenes. Uh, if I press Enter, it's going to take me down to the quick fix list here where all my search results are. And then again, I can use all my standard Vim commands for working with the quick fix list and uh, you know, refine my search results or go where I need to go. Like the File Explorer, you know it's a start. There's still a lot of other functionality I'd like to include. You could picture maybe file filters here, uh, options for like regex or case sensitivity. Replace would be really cool functionality to have. And hopefully some contributors will help jump in and help me implement that. At least for me, this functionality is really useful. I'm used to jumping back to a terminal, running git grep or grep and coming back. So just having this here and easy access to it uh, improves my workflow tremendously. So that's about it for 0.3.0. .0. But since this is the first video I'm doing on functionality for Oni, I wanted to show um, some of the out-of-box functionality you get as well. And for me, code completion is a big one. When I started using Vim, it was so hard to find code completion that I was happy with coming from Visual Studio and VS Code. So the completion experience is really important to me. Let's um, jump over to a file and check it out. So we'll go here. Um, let's jump down to the constructor. So one thing you notice, first of all, is you get this hover experience. So I can hover over things and get a little bit of information about how they work. I can jump into insert mode, start typing. I'm gonna start getting completion suggestions. And these particular suggestions are from the TypeScript language server, which supports TypeScript and JavaScript. And the cool thing about our implementation is that we actually support fuzzy search for these completion items. So I can start typing and maybe I'm interested in this completion providers here. I could uh, see like there's a capital P there. I'll just type that and it takes me right to it. I've typed three characters, I could get away with even less and I press enter and it's there for me. That's cool. Then I can press uh, dot and maybe see what's going on here. Get completion details. That sounds interesting. And then I get a signature help experience. So the nice thing about this is I don't have to keep this all in my head. I can you know, rely on my tool to help me and I can focus on the bigger picture, the more important things than the details of names and things like that. Another thing I wanna show you is um, along with the hover experience, you see this underline here. This means that uh, we actually have a definition for this item. So I can type GD and hop over to that. This took me to the constructor. So I can jump over to the definition here and I'm taken right to the file where this lives. So you can imagine this is really nice for getting around a big code base. Uh, it's really nice to have that go to definition functionality that's language aware. And again, this comes out of the box with Oni for TypeScript and JavaScript. You don't need to configure anything. It helps to have a tsconfig JSON or jsconfig JSON, but it's not necessary. You can get these benefits right now out of the box when you install. And we also have language servers out of the box for um, CSS, LESS, SASS. So let's jump over to one of those and check it out. So I'm over here. Maybe I'm trying to uh, do some Flexbox stuff, kind of forget the name of it. Um, it gives me a lot of background information. It's just really helpful for workflow where you don't have to keep everything in your head. You can rely on your tool to help you. And at the end of the day, you'll be more productive. So again, this is out of the box. It works with less CSS, SAS. We also have an HTML language server. Um, I encourage you to try it out. You're not just limited to the language servers that come out of the box. For example, I have um, PyLS installed for Python. So I can check that out. I think it's PyLS help. So I have this set up globally. It's just available to me. I can switch back over to Oni. Let's create a new Python file. I have this Python file here. If you look at the bottom in the status bar, you see this lightning bolt here. That means that we have a language server connected and running and um, that you get that language integration for this file type. So if I start working, import sys, cool. 
And then I want to do some maybe writing to the console or something. I again get completion and the Python language server happens to have a lot of details about it, which can be helpful. And again, I get these options. Oh, there's right and right lines. So um, there's lots of language servers available. You can go to langserver.org to check that out. Um, and I have links down below for information on configuring. That's about it. That's what we have for 0 0.3.0. Really appreciate you watching. And I want to give a big thanks to our contributors, our backers, and our sponsors for your support. Check out the links below if you want to try out Oni. We'd love to get your feedback. And that's it. Cheers. Catch you later.